The people that work in our NHS are working their socks off, but it's clear that our NHS is in crisis now. It was in crisis before the pandemic, and that's being felt most acutely when people need to access the emergency provision that the NHS provides. The ambulance crews are really doing a superb job, but the truth is there's simply not enough of them and there's too much demand on their services. Back in 2010, if an ambulance waited more than 15 minutes outside Dareford Hospital, that would need to have been reported to the Department of Health, so serious was it. 12 hour waits are now commonplace outside Dareford Hospital. That not only means a patient is sitting in an ambulance rather than being admitted to the hospital, but it means that ambulance has been tied up. Queues of ambulances waiting outside Dareford is now a daily occurrence. We need to make sure that primary care GP surgeries are sorted so more people can access the help and support they need at an earlier stage. And we also need to make sure that social care is fixed so more people can be discharged from the hospitals, which means there'll be more beds and capacity in our hospitals for those patients that are waiting in ambulances to be discharged into. There are no quick fixes for this, but the first thing that should happen is for government to admit that our NHS is in a state of crisis and take steps to address it. I'm afraid that's not happening at the moment and our most vulnerable in society are the ones who are paying the cost for that indecision and underinvestment with longer waiting times and ultimately probably poorer outcomes despite the incredible effort of those that work in the Southwest Ambulance Trust and our NHS. We need to recognise that we are in a state of crisis and tweaking around the edges won't be enough to get this problem to a better place. It didn't have to be this way, and that's why we need to see urgent change.